Hello and welcome back to Don't Starve. It's been a couple of days since I last recorded, and in that time, I have happily absorbed the numerous comments giving me tips about space bars and using Wasid to move around. I feel confident that I am a much more efficient surviving machine now. Ooh, I've got some cooked red caps, that's kind of useful. And three reeds. Now, in this episode, we are going to go and get some charcoal. And hopefully also some gold. There are a few things that I want to do. Namely, ooh, berries. I would like very much to dig this up and bring it with me. I want to get some uh, gold to make a lightning rod. I think that's very, very important right now. Uh, no, I'm going to leave that there. You can continue to spawn butterflies. Ooh, frogs. Uh, have I got any? Uh, can I make a... I can. Hmm. No, no, we're going to attack this. Frog like a... Oh, there's a lot of them. No, okay, fine. Fine, leave me alone. No, no, don't, don't want to... Ah, oh, damn it. Just, just leave me be. I... Okay, well, if you're going to follow me, follow me all the way. No, 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 that's not how... Ah, oh, fine, whatever. I've got a job to do. I may build something to... Uh, rocks, rocks. Take my rocks for me, please, Chester. And also... No, I I'm not going to give you the eyeball. Take those, because I'm not going to be planting any trees just yet, hopefully. Now, we've got plenty of wood, so we don't need that. Uh, what am I taking? No, we're going to leave that. going to leave it for now. Don't need it. Must not get distracted. We have got a job to do. And that job is to go and get some gold and some charcoal. Now, the only place that I know of that is likely to have gold is over here. The mountains. And I don't feel like exploring a new place. Though I'm willing to pick up the seeds everywhere I see. Because that'll come in handy later. Ooh, I will also take you. Because that will be pretty useful later on. Now. Gold. Gold, gold, gold. No, don't want evil flowers. Or the gnome, though. I'm, ooh, I'll come back for you. No one can pass up a garden gnome. Be serious with yourselves. Uh, we're going to need a pickaxe, actually. I should have built this one earlier. That'll do. Oh, we already had one. Damn it. Right. Okay, there's more rocks. I accept. Gold. Want gold. Now... As I said, people mentioned that uh, I can use spacebar to just pick things up, and uh, that blew my mind. It is awesome. I can just hold down space, and Wilson will just happily, merrily gather up all the things that are on the floor. I don't want that. I want gold. Where's the gold at? There's got to be gold around here somewhere. I refuse to believe that there is no gold. Oh dear, there may not be gold. Oh no, no. Is it? Yeah, this is mountain again. Oh. Yes, I do. I hear it, and it terrifies me. I believe I'm about to be visited by that which all survivors fear. I'm going to be visited by hounds. Uh oh, there is a tall bit over there. Not something I want to really play with. Right, we're going to need at least three gold for a lightning rod. That is my primary concern, but I would love to have enough gold to build an alchemy engine. And I think that's like another six, so I need nine gold in total. And I'll accept all these stones while I'm here. Manchester. Oh, we haven't got much time left. We also need some charcoal. Okay, I'm quite hungry. Definitely want some charcoal. Okay, you know what? I'm going to take this last bit of gold, and we'll come back here later. Oh, please. I don't want to fight you guys. Can't we be friends? Chester, I need to open you up. Uh, I need to give you these sticks. Take those. And uh, also these rocks. Take those as well. Uh, give me back the sticks. Um, oh, I'm worried. I want a torch. Because I'm going to need this to... Light things on fire. Uh, I like this one on fire, actually. Light! Burn, my pretties! Give me glorious charcoal. More charcoal for the charcoal god. I need six. More charcoal. Charcoal. Now I need my spear. One, two, three. Yeah, that'll be enough. Oh, yeah. Come on. Fight me. 
uh, or fight the tree. I'm okay with this as well. Not sure why he decided to fight the tree. But uh, I am completely happy with that. Okay, now I need my axe, and we need to be quick, because we've got a long way to go. Oh, Chester. Oh, this is problems, Chester. Oh, no, no, we're good. More. Chester. In fact, Chester, I'll take that. You take the monster meat. Just don't digest it. Not good for you. Okay. And we need just a little bit more. And one more, and then we'll be good. The seeds will also do. Okay. Now, Chester, with me. We must return. Our lives depend on it. Oh, we're far away. But we've got a torch. Got a torch, so I'm safe. I think. I hope. I'm not really confident about this. But, uh, we must get back. Uh, we'll grab these sticks as well along the way. I don't need any more flint. At least not just yet. We'll grab these seeds, though. More things to cook. Oh. I'm not sure what I just did there. Oh, wow. We're really low. Uh, go on, then. Just eat some of these seeds. We're really low. Okay, just eat the seed. That may keep us going until we get back to camp. Maybe. Ooh, a carrot. That would also be useful, but I'm going to take the berries instead. Uh, devour another seed. We're really playing it right on the edge right now. Oh, all the frogs are gone. Oh, no. We need the torch out. Come on, Chester. Got a little ways left. Hopefully this torch will last. Uh, I think it may. It may last. And thankfully, we built our camp in a very easy to reach location. So, boom. There we go. Everything is well. Uh, give me this. Um, you know what? Let's, let's start planting some things. Uh, okay, just leave them on the floor. Uh, we want this. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Oh, that was close. And eat another one. Right. No longer need that, so I'll cook something else. Okay. Right. We want... A cook pot. Uh, can I not build one? Uh, oh, I need stone. Okay. Um, what do I want to do first then. Oh, well, okay. We're fine. We're fine. I must stop panicking because I am really, really panicking. Uh, we want structures and we want a lightning rod. Can I not build one yet? I thought I could. Is it in science, maybe? Really need a lightning rod. Okay, fine. Just put the, put the sticks on the... No, don't put the sticks down. Put the flint down. Right, day nine is going to be a day of building, a day of base improvement. Um, you can have the... No, I'm not going to put that in your mouth, no matter how desperate I am. Right, we want to refine some stuff, so cut stone for us. And another one. Does this allow us to build a cookpot yet? No, we need three. Okay. And finally, we have a way to actually get some decent food. Put that down. Eat some more seeds. Okay. Now, Chester, I'm going to need some of that monster meat. I know, this doesn't sound appetizing, but trust me, this is going to be awesome. We want some monster meat in there. Only one. We also want some... Hmm. We want some meat. And some berries, maybe? Uh, I hope this makes something nice. What's it going to make? Uh, it's going to be a little while before it's made it. Please make something nice. I'm, I'm begging you. While you're doing that, I'm going to set up more traps. Meatballs! Ha <laughs> ha! Our first cooked meal. Boom! There we go. That's better. We're living in style now. I was worried you might have been uh, a bit randy there, but no, no. My panic was not necessary. Let's gather... Uh, well, actually, 
chance that. Uh, can you hold the monster meat again? I'm gonna kill more rabbits. Like I said, this day is gonna be a day of base improvement. So let's get this down. Now, I think that pile there is like, uh, it leads us to an animal or something. If we follow it. Uh, let me get some of this manure. Pick up the berry bushes, and now we can actually plant these. Everything is going well. I'll plant another one there. And we're going to fertilize them. There we go. Do I need to be fertilized? No. Now, what I would really, really like is to be able to build a lightning rod. But how does one go about doing that? Where would that be? Chest. I can make boards for that. Hay wall. What else? Not in there. Lightning rod. Okay, I need cut stone for this as well. There we go. Lightning rod is now built, or will be built in just a moment. I'm going to put it about uh, here. Now, that means all of our wooden structures should be safe. I hope. I might be wrong about that, but I'm, I'm hoping I'm not. We need a chest, though, I think, because we've got far too much stuff to really carry around on us. Uh, let's put that there. But our camp, I think you will all agree, is actually starting to take shape. We can now cook proper food. We've got farms. We've even got a lightning rod to protect things. On that note, though, we do need more wood. So let's go and chop down some trees. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Before I do anything stupid and get myself killed, don't worry, Chester. I will be taking those things off you in a, in a little moment. Right. Let's chop down some more trees. Got plenty of morsels, so there's really no need for me to worry about that at all. But we definitely want to get more wood so we can build boards and then a chest. Now, how many boards are necessary? That is the question. Chest. That'll be under structures, and it'll require three boards. Okay. I've just done what everyone else in this challenge has done, and that is made boards when I couldn't hold them. But that's okay. We'll be able to store them in just a moment. Um, oh, it's night again. That isn't good timing. Uh, let's murder this mortal. I know. I'm a monster. Right, we should be able to build our first chest. I'm going to put that down here. And in the meanwhile, um, we're going to stick, start transferring things into there. Can we have this crop? Yes, we can. Fantastic. We'll put that in there as well. Uh, and we'll plant another seed. But we definitely want to get some more food. Oh, unfortunately, my traps are not. I haven't picked anything up. Let's go down here then. See if the traps that I've laid down this way have got anything. Yes, fantastic. Unfortunately, not really uh, what I want. Can I drop that on the floor? Yes. Okay, let's murder some more bunnies. Uh, I'm being very, very bad at the moment. I'm going to get in trouble killing all of these rat animals. Let's pop that there. I know you're hungry. Don't worry. It's probably really bad for him because he's just sat there really, really hungry. And he's got nine morsels, or eight morsels rather, in his inventory. Just sitting there. Just asking to be made into delicious food. Fear not, for we are about to have a very hearty meal. Ah, gloriousness. And we'll also have to get the fire going soon. Now, now that things are starting to get a bit better, though, actually, oh, crap. Oh, yeah, we've got enough. We've got enough fuel. We'll be good. We will be good. And we'll eat that straight away. There we go. And let's get the fire going. Um, let's put some acorns on it. Mm, 
Okay, we'll add a little bit more. Nice and comfy. That's what we want. Now, Chester, I need all of those awesome saplings out of your belly. Because I haven't been planting these, and that's a bit silly. Considering they're going to take time to probably start growing again. And I keep forgetting that I... When I press Q, I'll... Uh, uh, rotate the world. I, for some reason, I keep trying to press it to close his inventory. I'm not really sure why I keep doing that. Probably because I'm stupid. Alright, let's get these down. No? Okay, we'll put it up there instead. Okay, we can't see what we're doing now, so let's wait for day to come. Now, on this day, I'm thinking we want to go doing a bit more exploring after I've planted these last two. Put that there, and this there. Now, one thing that everyone else seems to have done is start building walls. Um, I'm not sure I'm going to do that. That seems a bit crazy to me. Simply because it's going to take so many resources to get that done. Let's get some more of that. No. Okay, let's take all of the nitrite out. Actually, just start moving things around. Get things in order. You can carry my stones again. I'll put the reeds in there, though. Oh, man. I should have been eating these mushrooms. Since they should restore a little bit of health. Oh, man. That hurt my sanity a bit. Oh, well. Not much I can do about that right now. I'll also put the morsels in there. And we really don't need all of that. But we do need a lot more wood, I think. So... Let's go and fix that particular problem. I will take the grass out of you, though, because I'm going to need that, I imagine, for making more traps. Of which we want many. And why are you over there? That's not where I want you to be. I've got to be honest with you. It's kind of inconvenient. Because if you decide to get horny, then my camp is going to get very, very dead. Oh, crap. Okay. I'm, an, I'm a good person. I am totally good. I am not deforesting. Oh, that was risky. Oh, no, 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 you fool. Why did you attack him? No, nope. plant more. Look, look, dude, look. Just go to sleep. Uh, damn it. Let's see if I can just harvest from over here. Looks like I can without that guy getting too angry with me. And that is why you keep pine cones around at all times when you're chopping trees. Otherwise, nature gets angry. Or rather, some guy dressed up like a tree gets angry. I, I'm not going to think too much about why that's happening, but it seems a little bit suspect to me, honestly. Now, we want to pick these up. And I'm probably going to have to pick those up manually rather than with my uh, axe. I hope he doesn't get annoyed. No. It doesn't look like he gets too annoyed if you're digging up tree stumps. That is good news for us. And I don't really mind having him there, honestly, because as long as I don't do anything to annoy him, he's not really going to get in my, up in my grill. But I might be able to use him for self-defense. I'm thinking possibly. Maybe not, but uh, I would hope so. Uh, let's put this in there. Um, no. Uh, put the gold in there as well. We're going to continue to gather some stuff, but it is now day 10. I think on the next day, we're probably going to go ahead and go hunt for more gold possibly also get more grass because we're starting to get a little bit low actually and once we've got grass we can make some more traps because these are going to run out eventually not too long i don't think but we've got plenty of food we should be able to keep stocked on meatballs or if we need to we can have uh, kebabs kebabs you in there yeah we've got plenty of food Plenty of wood. Things are going well. We'll keep the seeds for now. Um, 
Yeah, okay. Gather this grass. And as I've mentioned, if there's grass around, you really shouldn't just be digging it up because there's no point. As long as it's natural, it will never need fertilization. Fertilization, is that the right way to put it? Fertilizing. Fertilization. I, yeah. Never mind. Language once again. Right, grab these sticks as well. Not that we really need those, but they're good to have, I suppose. Green mushroom. Uh, when that grows back, I'll harvest that, because I think that'll give me back some more sanity. That pig has not respawned yet, which is a shame. But I think we may try kill these... No, I've changed my mind about killing the frogs. They have grown in number. Are there one or two over here? Yes. Okay. I'll take that as well. And the frogs are gone. Right, well, I'm going to pick up this flower because we no longer have the garland. And that will probably be good to get back if we can. Okay, now it's time to probably look at what we can do with the materials we've got on us. Maybe we can bake log walls, but I'm, again, not really sure that I would really want to use up my resources on something like a wall. Not this early on, anyway. Uh, what we do want to do, though, is make some food. And for that, we're going to have one monster meat and a bunch of morsels. I'll put this away. And take my sticks back out. Chop, chop, come on. Wilson is hungry, he's only got 11 hunger left. Ah, glorious hunger. Uh, I mean, glorious non-hunger. Yeah. I was hoping to go through this let's play without becoming insane, but it doesn't look like that's going to happen for me. I can see you little hallucinations flashing on the edge of my screen. That would freak me out if I wasn't aware already about the sanity thing in this game. Because as I mentioned, the first time I played this, yeah, sanity wasn't something you had to worry about. Or at least not in the game sense, I guess you kind of always need to make sure that you're sane. But uh, yeah. And it seems that uh, when you get particularly insane, much worse hallucinations start to appear. One of which actively is detrimental to your survival. And that is the uh, night hands, which will gradually try to steal your fire. Horrible little things. Uh, we've got plenty of food, so why don't we make something else? Wilson deserves to be well fed, I think. Let's get that going. And put the rest of these in there. Seeds can stay out for now. Now then, what else can I make? We would like some armor if I can get it. Log suit requires two rope. Okay. I accept. We will make two rope, and then we will make ourselves a log suit. There we are. Now, this is probably the best armor I'm going to have for a very, very long time. Oh. Let's get that. And gobble it down. Oh, wow. It's been a very long time since I've had that high on my stomach. That's just awesome. And sanity's going up as well. Uh, I think that is a side effect of eating things from a cro uh, cook pot. Or is it a crock pot? It's a crock pot. Now, what else can I make? We can make a backpack, which I don't really want right now. Wouldn't mind a bug net. Uh, straw roll. Healing salvo. Oh, that's pretty cool. I can also make a pitchfork and a razor. I am not going to shave off this beard. That would be nonsense. Hay wall, wood wall. Yeah, you can make it with boards. Okay. A straw hat. Hmm. No. No, we're going to look for a garland. And it looks like uh, some of our stuff is starting to respawn. That's fantastic. Oh, he's wandering around. Is he angry with me? No? No, he's just happily wandering around. That's okay. You can live here, dude. I am not the sort of person to turn away... A homeless tree guardian especially when he may be able to kill hounds for me so yes I, I think the tree guardian is going to be a permanent permanent member of the family from now on but where do we want to go uh, we want more gold for an alchemy machine so we're gonna do that and see if we can find some flowers along the way we've got plenty of hunger or rather we're full I keep saying hunger when I mean 
I'm not hungry. But I'm sure you know what I mean, so it's okay. You're used to having to decipher my crazy ramblings by now. Uh, this we're definitely going to keep because, as I saw in uh, Joe's Let's Play, they can be used to uh, very rapidly kill a lot of rabbits. I think it was Joe. And what he did, if it was a Joe that I'm thinking about, oh damn, I didn't really mean to do that. Chester. What the... Oh, no, no, don't dig it up. What the... He did with the carrot. He placed it down and stepped back. And the rabbits became so infatuated with just eat, trying to eat this carrot. He waited for them to actually start gnawing on it and then just walked up and killed them with his spear. It was glorious. In fact, I might try and show you. Come on. You know you want it. That is a delicious looking carrot. Right now, that carrot... Out. Die! Ha <laughs> ha! And he didn't even eat the carrot. That's what I mean. That's awesome. That carrot is going to be staying with us, I think, Chancellor. I'm glad you agree. Now, I'm picking glass when I don't need it. I do want silk, though, because that'll eventually help me make a bug net. Uh, you can also hold the morsel for me. And our flowers. And that as well. Uh, no. Once again, though, starting to get low on wood. That's not good. How did I get that low? All of a sudden. Are you holding any wood? No. Hmm. That's definitely not good. Let me equip my axe and we shall gather some while we're out here. Right. Hopefully this doesn't spawn a tree guardian because I don't have the acorns in my inventory. Oh. Okay. Let's go. Living on the edge now. No acorns. Chopping down trees. Craziness. Oh, that's not too bad. And I'll take you. Now, it's halfway through the day. We want to go back before it turns to dusk. Because we're quite far out right now. Okay, that'll be enough for tonight. Now, flowers and gold. Where am I going to find flowers and gold, Chester? Yeah, it's probably in the same place that I found the gold the last time. You're quite right. Whatever would I do without your words of wisdom? I just don't know. Though that spring in your step is actually starting to annoy me a little bit now. I uh, Maybe I can make you some slippers or something. That would be very useful. Oh, wow. <gasps> I accept. And all this gold. My lord. This is fantastic. I've got a miner's hat. Oh, I don't need that on right now, though. You can take these as well. Well, that's our gold sorted. Flowers, not so much. But uh, we will deal with this. Can you hold that? Yeah, you can. Okay, well, I'll put the gold in you then so I can continue picking this up. Wow. Dead guys. Always awesome. I don't know if they spawn randomly in the world, like, over time, because I'm certain I came past here, but I oh, know. I guess not, because I don't have the map revealed. Yeah. All right. Okay, let's see if we can find any more flowers before we head back. Now I've got a miner's helmet, I'm not as uh, worried, but really I should save that for emergencies rather than just frivolously using it up just to collect flowers of all things. Okay, no more, no more flowers. Well, that's fine. We've got uh, enough gold now to make an alchemy engine, so I can start looking at some of the later tier stuff. And day 12 is almost upon us. That means winter is not very far away. It's about eight days away, I think. That is a terrifying thought. I have not prepared at all. I don't have anything to make me warm. I'm not really stocking up my food yet. Yeah, that's, that's actually quite bad. Never mind. I'm sure we will be able to get some sort of stockpile of goodies before winter comes. Though I will probably be relying heavily on Joe's carrot trick to get the rabbit. Because I should just be able to... Fill up that chest with morsels going that way. Though I don't want to do it too aggressively, otherwise, from what I understand, killing innocent things is counted as being naughty. And if you're a very naughty boy, then someone pays you a visit. And that sounded far more horrifically morbid than I intended it. By someone, I mean Krampus? I, I think. Basically, some guy will come along and nickel your stuff. To teach you a lesson in being 
nice to rabbits or, or anything really anything that's considered innocent which is I would like to say anything that won't attack you first so you're not innocent but a rabbit is also a small bird would be considered innocent I'm fairly certain now we have got uh, we really want to make another chest so I can specifically store those morsels in really but we don't have that so I'm not really sure what we're gonna do I'm gonna have to gather some wood on the next day I think and aim to get a chest specifically for storing morsels in uh, not morsels but the rabbits themselves so it means I'll only be able to store nine at a time but on the plus side that does mean that they'll basically not rot I'll just be able to keep it and I want to just start stockpiling food for winter much like Dapper Jester did in his let's play his kind of doomed let's play oh dear uh, let's get back over here yeah let's, let's stay here for a little bit kill some more rabbits cook ourselves some more dinner uh, I'll take some of you let's put something else on the fire um, we have got far too many sticks so let's use that for our fuel for now and well, there we go that should do as well but yes this will be the last night and then I will end this episode on day 12 with a cook pot and let's see if I can't get that machine going which is going to need me to take the gold out of Chester ah, glorious Chester open up oh no we haven't got enough damn it I miscounted everyone was probably there saying no you haven't got enough you need to turn back right now otherwise no oh he's forgotten he he hasn't ah oh, dear me Never mind, I guess. In the next episode, we'll probably gather some gold pretty early on and then build the alchemy engine. And then maybe I can start unlocking some of the things that are going to be necessary for me to survive the winter, which is probably only about two episodes away at this point. That's terrifying. Let's get you. What have I got? Put another corn. That's actually quite useful because that'll stack. But that's it for this episode. I hope you've enjoyed. I hope you will join me for the next, in which we will be continuing to try and not starve. Hopefully with great success, because, yeah, we're doing not too bad. I'm kind of getting a bit confident about this attempt now. But until then, and as always, do take care.